Hi, it's Wasabi. Welcome back to the channel. We've got a battle on the Abbey map, and we've got Benny the Bot. He's uh, back on the channel. He's running the Type 62, which is the Tier 7 Premium Light Tank Chinese Lion. He's turning the Rocket Pod the T7 TD. It's a Tier 6, Tier 7 battle. So it's top tier, but it's still Light Tank. Alright, so. Take a fairly progressive um, forward position for light tanks, but depending on his camo. Take this platform here, which was produced in the last uh, map update, and starting to spot tanks already. It's a Polish TD, the Gavika. You don't want to be in the way of its gun. If you're close, but you can see trees falling in the back, so definitely there are TDs there. Now they should probably reveal themselves when they fire, so that's going to be a question. Benny just marking the spot or rocket pod to shoot at, and here we go. They have fired, so SU 100 wide, that's a nice big fat target. Posado, a bit low and angled nicely, uh, potentially going to bounce, but alright, the shots are starting to come in. Oh, and there's another bus auto, so a whole bunch of TDs there. And he is reaping the benefits of the spotting. That SU 100 wire is not going to last long, I don't think. Looks like he's trying to move out of the way, potentially. And that one of the bus is definitely running. Bus has been reduced. Benny takes a shot on the SU 100 wire, takes him out. And doesn't get spotted, so clearly their view range not defeating this camo. Now the VK pushed down, but uh, it's down on the river, so it does get spotted for that. Basically backs off as soon as he fires the right thing to do. VK in a bit of a dangerous position. Then he just waits till he gets unspotted, comes back to the box, the VK is taken out. And now we can try and respot those tanks all in fact. He's it's pushing right up, so he's going to sort of do the job there, and they're not spotting. Take a slightly different position here, and you can cross this river here. It's, it's definitely worth it, but for light tanks, it is an option. If you get here in the first place, I've spotted there's some bushes there you can use. If you just look at the river, then that vertical view, you see that it's safe to cross in this spot here. You can't see rocks under the water, then you're probably going to drown or you're going to back up. Came from. Right, so knowing that he can't influence that position anymore, and rocket pods already come up to this middle position here, uh, from here you can spot the tanks that have gone into the Abbey. There's a VK up there, and he spotted an Arty, just the top of it, he may not be able to do much about it. No, he's, he's been spotted, so he's run across every tech these days. My dad does have six cents, so just better pay attention to it. That's the case. And there's, and there's a strip 74 up there. Then he gets spotted as he comes up. And no one's shooting back at him, so the enemy clearly have lost the base, although there goes the uh, Lorraine. Oh no, they've quite lost the base there. T71 DA who comes out might have a shot at the uh, Benny, but no, he backs off. Just lost three tanks in quick succession there, but uh, the team's still got a bit of an advantage now. He's going to go up to the strip if you can find him. Where is he? Alright, he's still where he was spotted, so he's going to put some shots into him. And nicely bounce the incoming round off his turrets, and he's got a nice little hull down position here. So two shots into the strip, more. Kill this one, not necessarily. Oh no, but someone else does, so you get some tracking damage as well. So, 2.5k of assisted damage so far. And a thousand of his own, so 3.5k this early in the game is going to have an influence, and you can see the uh, hit point differential here quite substantial. Right, they just lost their. So, the rocket pod takes out the gun and and he puts a nice shot on the move into the Super Hellcat from the enemy team. He's spotted here and I just take 
damage from the T71DA. Puts a shot in return, but he does take another hit, so that's a bit dangerous. Can he tempt him out? No, that T71DA one will be a great thing. That's got to be an Australian player, you would think. Oh, one will be a... And then he takes the wise choice and backs off to some gear range or anything, but also he to support rocket mod who is also across the map. So obviously they're on comms together. Oh, he's found the enemy light tank. BK28 and he's just fired so he has one long reload. Puts a shot in and the T71DA shoots him again twice, so leaves him on only 240 hit points, which uh, is, well, that's a quarter of his hit points, so it's still relatively okay. Oh, there's the arty. Can we get the gun angle on the depression? Probably not. The Chinese vehicles aren't famous for gun depression. And this is not a very simple place to drop down here. He does manage to get a shot in, just peeks down enough without causing himself to go off the edge, but the rain facing off at him. He comes off to take out these targets. And the Lorraine shotguns, the Nash on that followed him up, so not a great choice there by the Nash on, just staying in the way and the Lorraine firing, but now Rocket, uh, Benny knows that the Lorraine is out of gas and he's left HE, he got 45 hit points out of that, so that can penetrate. He's keeping the HE running. Lorraine fires, so he knows it's pretty safe to shoot him. Lorraine can't do much more except try and run. And he gets the killing shot there. So now, a bit of clean up. The enemy's only got 545 hit points left, so he's an IS. He can just shoot the rear of and get the kill. Bank, or not even the rear, the side, just as good. And now he's got the BZ-58, also potential kill here, which he gets the kill for. So two tanks to go, the Super Hellcat and the T-71DA. He's got Rocket Pop with him. And there's an M12 Arty who's not fairly around the map too. And he's got Rocket Pop a nice shove to get him. And looks like they're going to go for the camp because the, um, potentially the T-71's guarding camp in the last position on the minimap. I don't know where the Super Hellcat is, but both of them are on low hit points. shooting position and he goes in spots they'll work out whether the oh this is the T71 DA oh and he takes out the uh the arty so now it's just 2v2 and he comes back to see if he can go for the T71 but no it's a good idea now he knows where the T71 is and he's probably running away he knows he's spotted we can head to cat and at least draw them out So, looks like the rocket pod go on cat and then he take a guard position. Shoot anyone who tries to reset the cap. So it takes a nice push here, it gives him a bit of visibility across the map. He's in a little bit of a depression, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but rather depends on how tall your tank is. Rocket pod should be on cap just about now. Alright, starts the cap. Then you're just looking around, just scouting the angles to see if anyone comes up on that platform there and tries to shoot down. Oh, okay, one piece, enemies on cap. Both of them on cap, alright. So, the numbers there, he knows they're both on. Now, can he catch up if he goes on cap? It's made up. Both the caps now got two things, and they're very close to each other, so even though they're slightly in front, it's not worth um, coming out. That'll end in the draw for sure. You do have to have a clear lead, like some five seconds, um, to be able to win by both sides capping at that point. So it's going to come up here and see if you can spot the tanks on cap and get a reset. Nice high platform here with a bit of cover. 
so you should be able to spot anyone on cap if they're, unless they're hiding, there are some hiding spots. No, they're both out in the open, it's super heavy cap. Oh, a snapshot, without waiting to look really aim. He's spotted now, he can probably take it from the 271, which he does. And he sends the return shot down, gets the kill. That is the game, what a great win there. Alright, so 2.2k of his own damage, another 3k of assisted, so that's 5.2k, well, it's a great result there. Seven kills, that's earned him the top gun, and he managed to get the defender award for, I think, so like 80 cap points that he's managed to reduce them, and all that has earned him the ace tanker badge. So let's have a look at the team score. So absolute carry from that platoon. 1600 base experience for Benny and Rocket Pod coming in with 1k, but both getting way over the damage of the rest of his team, so definitely a carry from that team. On the enemy side, the BZ and the Is that they finished off at the end, both doing 2k and the rest of them not doing a whole lot. And where did that uh, 271 come in? Not too bad, but I uh, won't blame him there, uh, having to defend a team that was pretty woeful, a lot of zero damages there. But um, finish off let's have a look at the cost of running now this was a premium vehicle so let's not forget that but he's got some fantastic additional bonuses for the platoon doubling his original earning for the for the game and running personal reserves giving another 50 percent so great income there and being top tier didn't have to use a lot of expensive ammunition and just paying for his consumable as well so a net profit 116k on a non-premium account that's a really great result there 20 shots fired in the end, 18 hits, so excellent shooting, 15 penetrations, 3 splash damage, that's the HE shells he was firing, and all of that adding up to his damage total. So great game there from Benny and Rocket Pod. Um, 10 minute game, or just under 10 minute game, and you can just see the effort they put in to win uh, really paid off, and great result, and a pretty dynamic game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up if you've got any questions or you want to make any observations feel free to make comments comments are always welcome we'll have more great content to follow thanks very much for watching